Howdy everybody, Big Fatty Plus, and welcome back to the Big Man Plays Star Trek 21st, 25th Anniversary. Pause the, pause, pause the game. Last left off, we saved, we uh, saved a bunch of Romulans from a um, deadly virus by hitting them with uh, Romulan laughing gas, which caused them to uh, not be in a fighting mood. And then we uh, cured them, gave them some water. And they said, well, you're actually kind of not so bad. We're still adversaries, but you're not so bad. And also, hopefully, I hope Kurt gave um, Dr. Carol Marcus the side eye for developing the Genesis device on that goddamn station! Because you know that's what it was. So, anyway. We have, uh, let's see here, uh, Mr. Spock, could you give me some data on Har Har Harlequin? Harlequin, a Federation star system with two class M worlds, both inhabited. Harlequin III, Vardane, is an Earth colony that has been involved in controversy on more than one occasion. Harlequin V, Aloysia, is a non-Federation world. Heavily influenced by Alasi pirates. Oh crap! Lovely, just what I want to hear. Var Vardane. Vardane, the name for the third planet in the Harlequin system. Vardane is a reclusive member of the Federation, formed by isolationist humans in the late 22nd century. Vardane is a technocratic society which has received Federation assistance on numerous occasions but has not shared its own scientific advances. Allegedly sponsoring Van Eugenics experiments, the inquiry of Stardate 4650.6 was indefinitely postponed at request of the Vardane government. Recent alleged rights violations of Turkin 3 immigrants has prompted further Federation investigations. Oh goody, so they're, they're, they're completely insane. I think we've already heard the lawsuit. Yeah. Prime, a binary star system which one inhabited planet Menalvagorn is currently undergoing a revolution between factions which survive from raiding Federation Elasi pirates, Ajalasi. Aha! That's why I couldn't the find fist that. of Elasi, a name taken by the Demiri pirate clan of Menalvagorn, and used as their surname for nearly 70 years. Well, now that we've uh, established that, let's uh, save. Save me again. Yes. And let's, uh... Raising shields. Because we're about to go into a war zone. And we're heading to... The Harappa system. No, not the, the Harlequin system. I'm going to walk through wrong here. Which is number four on the map. Which is, uh... Right here. Better be or I'm in trouble. We have arrived at Harlequin. Two Elasi ships approaching the fact, Captain. I'm also picking up an ion trail from a small ship, probably a scout. It left the sector just as we arrived. It appears likely that we interrupted the pirate attack on the scout. Message from the Elasi captain, oh, sir. We'll show you what happens to those who come between us and our prey. Prepare to die! Oh, arming weapons. Two of them? Oh, sweet baby Jesus, how am I supposed to fight two of them? Wait, what was that? Up oh, there, is there, there, there. Go down! Dang it! Oh crap! I mean, we're 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 an advanced heavy cruiser, but I don't know how we're supposed to fight two ships at once. Out! Oh, we're getting hammered. We're getting hammered. Come here, let me get you, sucker. No, come back here. You ain't dying done with you. Oh, crap. 
I'm not doing too well here. Um. I shot. Our weapons seem to be not doing too well there. Uh, Mr. Spock? Aye, sir. Okay, we're getting our, getting our collective butts here. Uh, Mr. Spock, could you please get the shields back up and running? Mr. 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 Spock. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Scott. Mr. Scott. Come on! Sensors repaired, Captain. That's great. Hi, sir. Whoop! Nope, it wasn't mouse like it was. Oh, go! Go! Right in front of me! Yes! I will defeat. Oh, there you are. Wait, did I get one already? The ion trail of the scout ship leads to the Harrison system. Yep. The Harrison. Picking up the subspace signal, sir. It's very weak. Patch it through, Lieutenant. Enterprise? Is that you, Kirk? Oh, no! And Kirk, oh, I God, can't no. believe they said you to rescue me. That sounds like... No, please, say it isn't. Oh, I have no. a visual signal now, sir. Ah! You've got to help me. I have had a terrible misunderstanding with the Alasi uh, traders. Traders? Uh, uh, they're out to kill me, Kirk. Fancy that. No, see here, Kirk. I sold my Muds Miracle to Grimers in perfectly good faith. A little sideline work, you understand? Now they won't leave me alone. No, no. They're tracking me again. I can't send coordinates. You have to come protect me. I'm a registered ship with the Federation. Mud out. I'm afraid his ship is registered, Captain, and regulations require we respond to his distress signal. Can't we as a bridge crew just collectively say we didn't hear him and he exploded? Can we? No? Son of my- GOD! Son of my gun. Okay. Mr. 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 Spot- uh, Mr. Yeah, um... I shot Okay, um... No, 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 I went, no. Okay, let's. Hapa. Uh, Harapa, a star system whose fourth planet is the inhabited class M world, Chameleon. Chameleon has long been dominated by Alasi pirates, but lately has been struggling to break free of their influence. And now let's ask the horrible one. Mud. Harcourt Fenton Mud. Harcourt Fenton Harry. Mod is one of the most infamous criminals at large in the Federation. A notorious con artist and troublemaker. Mod has been imprisoned numerous times for petty crimes. While Mod is not considered physically dangerous, he is quite devious and often uses dangerous means to ensure the success of his schemes. Starfleet captains who encounter Harry Mod should be extremely wary. Save new game. I don't want to save him. I don't want to save him. I really don't. 
I, I really don't. I saw it. I, I really, I really don't. I, re I really, really don't. Disarming the weapons. I'm keeping the shields up. Okay, we're heading to the next. We're heading to Harappa, which is uh, number five on the map, which is thankfully right next door. The hell is that a freaking star destroyer? Mr. 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 Engines repaired, Captain. Thank you. Uh, could you um, work on the hull? Aye, sir. The Harappan system is binary, with a neutron pulsar in the vicinity causing difficulties with our sensor readings. I was able to trace Mud's transmission to this derelict. So, our friend Harry is on board, no doubt. Can you tell me anything about the derelict vessel? There are six major subdivisions within the hull. All systems are down. There is, however, limited atmospheric integrity. The environment appears to be the result of a temporary save -a ship life support generator. Not exactly a reliable model, Captain. We're being hailed by Mr. Mudd, sir. Well, of course Captain, we are. you came. I'm tired. I wanted to see you Harry, die. I have to be touched in the head to have anything <laughs> to do with you. How's your lovely wife, Stella? That was a dirty <laughs> trick, Kirk. However, you'll be glad to know I let bygones be bygones. If the Enterprise will stand by and fend off any pirates, I'll just finish my salvage operations here and be out of your hair. Computer records document that you filed notice that there was no salvageable value here and that the ship was a common passenger tug. Did I say no value? Minimal, Captain. Minimal. I meant nothing but promising when I filed the report. We both know my judgment isn't always perfect. No. I would say your judgment is never perfect, Harry. Perhaps we should beam over and judge the situation for ourselves. Ah, that isn't necessary, Kirk. I can handle... I mean... Harry, relax. We're old friends. We'll understand if things aren't picked up and looking neat. Kirk out. Mr. Co Mr. Spock, is this a good idea? I would very much like to see this alien ship, but the prospect of dealing with Harcourt Fenton Mud again gives me pause. I agree with you wholeheartedly, Spock! I would sooner torpedo this derelict with mud on it and be done with it! <sighs> Lower the shields. Lower the shields, Captain. Keep working on the hull, Mr. Scott. I'll be over. Save new game. Cancel. Save replace previous I'll, game. I'll, I'll be over eventually. I'm just going to um. Spock, come with me. Mr. Scott, you have the con. This is against my very better judgment. Welcome, Captain oh. Kirk. So glad you're here. The Elazi have been terrible trouble to me. Well, you're terrible trouble to me, Harry. Tell me what this is all about. I happened upon this ship not long ago and dutifully registered as salvage, mind you. In the hold here, I discovered one of these devices in that box over there. When I tried one on a wall, it floated off the grease and dirt. Perfect for cleaning, near as I could see. I peddled a few of these Mud's Miracle Degrimers and everything was going perfectly well. Mm -hmm. Then something went wrong, right? Actually, no, Doctor, not then. I yeah. started offering a few other little items I found. Don't you lie! Limited coffee substitute, a great little specialty item. Uh, lenses to affirm packaging build-your-own-telescope kits. Uh, the collection of novelty paints, things like that. All of a sudden, the Elazi pirates are asking for me in every quadrant, wanting to know where I'm getting my goods. I see, Harry. Well, we'll look around here while the Enterprise remains close by. Look around all you like, Captain, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. I registered this derelict as my salvage, and I don't want you running off with all my prizes. Harry, as official representatives of the Federation and of Starfleet, we recognize your rights to legitimate salvage. Need I say more? I understand perfectly, Captain. You carry on, Captain. I'm going to say right now, not a single bit of this salvage is legitimate. It is Save less than game. legitimate. Replace previous game. Also... 
Kirk, after all we've been through, you wouldn't shoot me, would you? Kirk, after all... Kirk, after all we've been through, you wouldn't shoot me, would you? The game won't let me shoot him! It won't let me shoot him! I'll reload in case that affected my score. <laughs> Harcourt Fenton Mudd. Of course he's going to be honest and fair with you. Never was a greater lie ever spoken ever. Okay. Let's, uh, let's look around while well, we can. There are shiny, multi-sided, spherical objects in this box. Hmm. I, maybe I should acquire one for scientific research. Done. Okay. What are you looking at, buddy? This container holds bricks of what might have been pre-processed food a long time ago. Mm, so definitely nothing of use. Odd-looking contraption small enough to hold in one hand. Oh, I should probably... Wait, let me, let me look at the one I have here. Oh. Shiny dodecagons as long as one's hand. Highly reflective. Shimmering with the prismatic rainbow look of oil on water. Oh. Let's uh, acquire one of them. Done. And what's that thing that we just took? One of Mud's Miracle Degrimers. Miracle Degrimers. Yeah, right. Mm, what the hell is this? This lens, about the size of one's thumbnail, magnifies like a fine optical glass. Ooh, that could be useful. Let's acquire that. Done. Done. Dun 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 dun. Okay, now I have to use the lens, apparently. Okay, so you, you, you get the lens on the floor by okay. Use the lens and open up the inventory and use the grimer. These two things fit together like they were made for each other. Oh. Well, now I think we know why the Alassi pirates were so interested in finding out where Mud was getting these. Oh. That thing just, uh, 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 uh that thing just freaking shot. Oh, it ex if things explode the second we use it. Oh, it's a gun, it's a freaking gun or a bomb or something. It's not a degreaser, you freaking moron. It's a weapon. Uh, Mud, you are a freaking moron. But of course, we already knew that. Let's just go into the next room here. Hmm, wait. Oh, we're the wrong way. Walk down to the left. Oh, there's a door down here. I didn't even see. What the hell is this business? What the hell is this? What is this now? What the flippity flip dip? Save new game. Replace previous What is game. this? What would I walk into? Willy Walker's workshop? Uh, okay, um... Uh, Mr. Spock, could you please tell me what the hell that is? An unusual matter-antimatter engine, reminiscent of the designs created by the Hupuin of Seganus IV. The Hupuin of Seganus IV. The Hupuin. Who are the Hupuin? I don't want to meet the Hupuin. If they are anything like the hydrants of Star Trek Starfleet, Com uh, Starfleet Command, oh lord. Definitely want to meet them. 
Okay, was there anything else I need to look at? A Saber Ship Emergency Life Support Generator, generally used for temporary life support during evacuation of small damaged ships. Evidently, Mr. Mudd was unwilling to pay the price for a reliable salvage model. No, apparently he wasn't. You look but see nothing of note. You look but see nothing of note. Oh, that looks melty. A salvage lock hatch, a common type used to link a derelict to the ship doing the salvaging. It appears that Harry Mudd managed to emplace this access hatch without significantly damaging the alien ship. Will wonders never cease? Harry just has a line of luck that just needs to be not. Harry, I, I would I would be so happy if you died. I mean, that, that's Save horrible. new game. Replace previous game. But at least he's better than the Harry Mudd that's in Star Trek uh, Star Trek uh uh, Discovery. That one's just a downright jerk. Mud, at least lovable in some form or fashion. Okay, let's uh, go into this next room here. Oh. What the hell is this room? What the hell is this? Wait, was I did I go too far? I probably went too far. Cause this is supposed to use something on a brown cover. I don't see a brown cover. Also, I wish you could run, Kirk. I really wish you could run. It would make it so much easier if you could run. Okay, let's let's look right now and down here. An elaborate piece of alien looking machinery. Mr. Spock, if you could scan that please. A weapons delivery system. Oh. It appears to be an accessory tied directly to the alien equivalent of our ship's phasers and photon torpedoes. Grand. Unique, Captain. I believe these are self-referencing packed quantum cartridges. Power boosters! Oh, I've read about those, but they're just theoretical. Thank Evidently, you, Lieutenant. these are more than theoretical, Lieutenant Bukert. The energy initially released is infinitesimally small, but boosts itself until the power finally released is comparable to our photon torpedoes. The technical journals discussing the possibilities indicated it would create a weapon of greater range than those we have now, if not a greater punch. The machinery to deliver these cartridges would be an engineering feat as well, Captain. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Three triangular blue buttons. Two yellow triangular buttons. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, let me save before I frick something up Save here. new game. Replace previous... Okay, Mr. Spock, how about you, uh... Mess with these, please? Wait, am I supposed to mess with these? Yeah, mess with those. Oh! The device has finished loading, Captain. Oh, really? Well, I, well let's see what this does. I believe, Captain, that this weapon must be hooked up through the main weapon's battery. However, I've already examined the weapons console, and the main weapons battery on this ship was completely destroyed in the action, which made her a derelict. Mr. Scott would have to go over this thoroughly, but I would recommend we try to take this weapon with us to the Enterprise. I don't think we should tinker with technology we don't understand, Spock, and I'm what? surprised you'd suggest such a thing. That is not the Kirk I know! Who, who are you? I agree that we should take it aboard the Enterprise. What's the other? I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. I don't think we should tinker with... No, I agree no, that no, we should no, take no. it aboard the Enterprise. Option two is Kirk. I'll try to raise the ship. Kirk to Enterprise. Kirk to Enterprise. Oh. Okay, we're apparently having trouble. To, I failed uh... to see the logic in that action, Captain. Oh, it's, uh, sorry. 
I, w I need to go through the door myself. <laughs> oh god, no. What are you doing here now? Why, C -C Captain? MUD! Jim, that doesn't look good at all. Harry, let me take a look at you and check whether that had some deleterious effect. No, you're all space aliens. You're little gray men from inside the hollow earth. You want to experiment on my body parts. Stay away from me! Deleterious effects. Oh my god. I guess I don't even need my tricorder. Oh my god, his head's going off. You'll mind control me. Kidnap my children. Dissect my dog. If we can get him on one of the beds and get it active, I think he can be cured. Otherwise, he's likely to become increasingly violent. Stay away from me! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Really? Okay, I think I've moved ahead too quickly, but uh, let's see what I need to do here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, I gotta use. Okay, so yeah, this mission's gonna be a bit longer than normal, but let's see. We're gonna use Mr. Spock to hold Mud down. Just, just to hold him. Yeah, there, there you go. All yours now, Dr. McCoy. Oh, he just walks over and just, uh, neck benches him or something. <laughs> All right, here, use that. I need to understand more about the aliens before I can make this bed and its instrumentation function. Oh. Okay, so, uh, I can't. So, he's just going to, uh, sit right there. Wait, I should reload because apparently I wasn't supposed to do that. Did I already, uh... Ah, crap. Did I not... Ah, oh, crap. One moment. Let me go ahead and do this really quick. Yeah, I screwed up. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to go through the door yet. Oopsie doodle! Oh, these old DOS games, I swear to God. The device has finished loading, Captain. Then use that. Here we go. Yep. So. I believe, Captain, that however, I've already Yeah, we've already heard I don't think we should. I agree that we should take. I'll try to raise the ship. So, yes. I. Save new game. Replace previous game. This is why I should. I get confused sometimes, and I guess going in that room triggered something. So. Okay, so, it appears that Mr. Mud's going to get himself in trouble and cause himself to be slightly loopy. But what is he getting himself in trouble with? And more importantly, why don't I just let him die? Find out next time on the Big Bad Play Star Trek 25th Anniversary. Till then, Big Fatty Plus, Sonar. And you know, they tell all Starfleet officers if you meet Mud, be wary. What they really should have told all Starfleet officers, if you meet Mud, shoot him on sight. You won't be fine, hanged, or even get in trouble for it. You might even get a commendation. 